Hello Capricorn. This is your November 2019 reading and realize it may not resonate with all Capricorns. But I am asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Capricorn for November 2019. We need to know what's going to happen ahead of time so we can do something about it or prepare ourselves. But this is for Capricorn, the ones that are watching my video. I need the energies for them. The ones that are coming in. Full Celtic Cross. I am going to give a love reading at the end of this um, Celtic Cross reading. It's going to be a pick three. You know, it's becoming a little popular. But if you don't want to hear the truth, you may not want to watch my love readings, okay? You may want, not want to watch my love readings. Um, Seven of Cups in Reverse. You got a lot of options out there, but you may not be choosing from them. You may close them off. You may be keeping your options open. You got people offering you stuff coming in with the Seven of uh, Cups in Reverse. But it's like you're not liking any of them. You may reject them. Knight of Rods, stalker, stalker card for all the signs, Knight of Rods, can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as you know, I do not assign um, one sign to a court card, because we're, we're reading for the masses here. So the Knight of Rods is someone who's uncommittal, sometimes they, they, they got other things they got going on, so they really can't, um, you can't pin them down right now. They're here, there, everywhere. Sometimes when they're like this and, and they're busy and they got things going on, they can get a little cross, you know. Let's see what's crossing them, though. Moving on from a troubling situation with the Six of Swords. They're having trouble moving on or, you know, or maybe they're trying to move on. You know, I clarify these. I tell you what the, the meanings could be. And then once I start clarifying, it changes the story up. So, you know, bear with me. What crowns you? The Five of Cups. You're disappointed in something, Capricorn. You're disappointed in something or someone's disappointed around you. Foundation. Get the Sun in Reverse. The sun in Reverse is not the most terrible card. It just means you're not as happy as you could be with the Sun in Reverse. In the past, you may have been dealing with someone who who um, whose emotions are really put out there. They're, they're really putting out their emotions. The Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Like I said, they're, they're in reverse, so something could be wrong. And it could be so many things. could be they're tired. Maybe they're overworked. Maybe they got emotional issues. Maybe someone did them wrong. It's all kind of things with the turns of card around. So i got to clarify. Very near future, you may choose not to work on something or work as hard or really put yourself out there with the Three of Pentacles, maybe um, because of disappointments, maybe because um, you're not happy with the situation 100%, maybe things haven't been clear. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the, is the death card in reverse and ending in reverse. So something may resurrect. We do have Mercury in retrograde coming up in uh, November. So a lot of things are revisited you know, during this time, whether we like it or not. What I do, I, I just don't deal with it coming in. Oh, you got something coming towards you, the Nine of Wands. Someone is speculating towards you. Someone may want to work a situation with you. Again, i got to clarify. Your hopes and fears is the Two of Pentacles. Maybe you're afraid you have to um, drop something. Maybe you're afraid of change. Or maybe you're wanting change with the Two of Pentacles. In the very end, you got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords... Um, can be an air sign, it can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but I'm thinking it's more of an energy. I mean, you can be dealing with this type of person, but it's also someone who's very intelligent. Someone is a go-to person when someone needs something, advice, you know. Um, they're very mature. Even you can take on this energy, even though this is not an earth-type energy. It's someone who's very intelligent, though, and, and they're honest with their words when they're in the upright, okay? Now let's go back to the beginning. You got the Knight of Rods in reverse and the Six of Swords crossing. And someone is having trouble moving on from a situation, and maybe that's why they are in reverse. Or maybe you're having trouble moving on from this person because they're non committal or they got something else that's keeping them preoccupied. So the Knight of Rods in reverse with the Six of Swords in the upright. Oops, something's trying to come out. Page of Cups. Messages of love and kindness needs to be sent. 
Someone's trying to be kind. Someone tried to offer kindness with the Page of Cups. Knight of Rods, Six of Swords, and Page of Cups. I need one more card. Someone's trying to help this situation. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio also. Someone young at heart. Someone with a good heart, okay? So Knight of Rods, Six of Swords, Page of Cups. Why are you there? It's the subject at hand for Capricorn. Communications. It's trying to come out. I'm going to let it. Communications are coming in. Maybe even travel with the Eight of Wands. And uh, um, someone wants to offer a new stable beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. But it's like, I don't know. Someone's having troubles. Someone's having troubles. It'll be different for everybody. I mean, troubles really. Um, Putting, not putting themselves out there, but like I say, committing. It's like they can't do it for some reason. It has to do with a troubling um, mindset for right now. Like they can't move on from a situation. Now what is crowning you is the Five of Cups. You're really disappointed or someone else is really disappointed around you. So the Five of Cups in the upright is with foundation. Or not the foundation, with crowns Capricorn. Or their goal. Why are you there? Why are you there for Capricorn? Uh, someone needs to make a decision. The sun again in reverse. Someone's not happy with their lives. They're very disappointed. But they also have an option there with the two of wands. I'm hoping you see all these cards. Two of wands is a, like a decision-making card. They got actually two options. Two options. And one is a safety net and the other one is going forward with something they desire. But they're like holding on to that safety net. They're afraid to let go. But it's decision time. But at the same time, maybe there wasn't someone else to do this. Maybe you're wanting someone else to make a decision. And you're not happy with whatever they're doing. Or someone's not happy with you about making a decision, you know. Now, the foundation, you got the sun in reverse again. So you're not just 100% happy right now, you know. Why are you there is a foundation for Capricorn. What's going on? Knight of Wands again, and moving on from a troubling situation. So who is having trouble moving on here? Are you having trouble moving on from the Knight of Wands, or is the Knight of Wands having trouble moving on from you? Again, this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see a lot of fire here. And I see that somebody wants to offer a beginning, but the other person is like all caught up in something. Something that's really bothering them, something that's stressing them out, you know? Now in the past, we got the Queen of Cups. I already told you what that could be, but I need two clarifiers because it could be just someone taking on this energy. It doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be someone whose emotions are, you know, they're trying to keep them in check. Maybe they're not feeling well. Like I said, maybe something's going on with the emotional um, situation and all this. So the Queen of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn in the past? Happy home. Someone against a happy home situation. It made it all emotional. Four of Wands is there. It's clarifying the Queen of Cups. So something of emotional nature that went against your better judgment and what you're wanting to do and how you're wanting to proceed in life kind of got messed up. And it'll be different for everyone because we're dealing with a lot of Capricorns here. And like I said, I'll do the love reading at the end. But if you don't, like I said, if you don't want to hear the truth, please don't watch it because people get all bent out of shape. And I'm not, I do this, I got to tell you the truth, you know? I mean, why would you watch something and not want to be told the truth? You can change up a situation. You do have free will. But in the near future, you got the Three of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Someone may decide not to work as hard on something. Maybe they may decide to drop a situation, all kind of things, but it's in the near future. And yes, we're all on a different timetable. So some of you may already be experiencing this. Some of you may experience them later than November, but the majority will, will experience this in November. So the Three of Pentacles in reverse in the very near future, I need two cards. I need two cards for Capricorn. Strength in reverse. Someone may stop something because they're tired. They're very exhausted. And they're trying to get their emotions back in check. For some of you, again, you could be dealing with a water sign. But I see someone who has to stop something because they may be sick. They may be exhausted. They may be um, feeling down and out. And they're trying to recuperate with their emotions with the King of Cups. You know? 
and there's nothing wrong with um, trying to recuperate. It's like just somebody is, like I said, down and out, and they're having troubles of moving on from a situation, like I said. Now, the possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the death card in reverse, you know, an ending in reverse. Someone may try to resurrect a situation, and maybe the universe is trying to let you know that someone may try to resurrect a situation that ended, or be careful of endings, you know? So, death card in reverse, why are you there? For Capricorn, why are you there? Someone's feeling, someone needs to break free from a situation with the Eight of Swords. They need to put something to rest because they keep on revisiting something that's pretty stressful. And, 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 the, and the universe is telling you, break free from this, which you can with the Eight of Swords, I'll show you. With the Eight of Swords, as someone who's feeling trapped, but in reverse, they're trying to break free. They feel stuck and they're trying to break free from something that is not bringing them financial um, stability. This is more like mental energy. With the, with what's attached to this card is you can break free. So the universe is telling you to break free from situations. Don't keep on resurrecting the negativity and the situations in your life because it's going to hurt you financially and mentally, you know? Now, what is coming towards you, someone wants to work on a situation. The so Nine of Wands is someone contemplating on going on to the next level of working on something diligently and maybe even taking on a heavy burden because they want to work on it. So they're thinking about how can I work with this Capricorn? What can I do to work, you know, hard for this Capricorn or the situation, whatever they're going through? So the Nine of Wands in the upright coming towards Capricorn. And this is outside your control. You can control you, but this is the outside environment and you can just control what, how you react towards it. So the Nine of Wands in the upright, why are you there for Capricorn? Coming towards them, why are you there? Yeah, someone is dealing with a karmic cycle. They feel they can't, they can't end it right now, but they, they're slow in approaching you. They don't know how to approach you, Capricorn. They may feel like you will reject whatever they have to say or want to work on with you. So this person is contemplating on the next step because they're not done yet. They're not done with you in any, in any way, but you may, they may feel that you are done with them, you know? So they're thinking about it with the Nine of Wands. Now your hopes and fears, you got the two of pentacles. It's like juggling something, working on something, trying to work on something. Maybe you're trying to keep busy. Maybe you're wanting to keep busy. I need two cards. We can go on forever with those. So two of pentacles in the upright. Why are you there? And the hopes and fears for Capricorn. Why are you there? Hope. You got hope in this um, death in reverse. Maybe you're trying to resurrect a situation, or maybe you're fearing it. But you do have hope here. You're, you you got hope, and that's what everybody needs a little bit there is hope in the future. So you're hoping for this Two of Pentacles energy. Maybe, like I said, it had to be work. Some of you want change. You're hoping for change. The Two of Pentacles means that, too. A lot of people don't use that meaning, but it is one of the meanings, is changing a situation. And when in, in the process of changing, you'll be doing two different things, and finally you'll drop one and go with the other. In the same way with the Two of Wands, you're thinking about what to do next and whether to let go of a safety net altogether. But in the end, you get the Queen of Swords. Again, I told you what that was about. But as an intelligent person, this one I like to go to for advice, to be honest with you. I know I'm always going to get a, the truth from the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords in the upright, why are you there? For Capricorn, in the very end, I need two cards. Then we'll sum this up and get on with it with the love reading. I need two cards for the Queen of Swords, though. Why are you there? There's that burden I was telling you about, and there's the two pentacles. We've got a lot of twos here. This is a very significant energy. I hope you can see all this, because i got to be able to fit the love reading in. Ugh. But the Queen of Swords, you go to this Queen of Swords about this burden you're carrying, about this change that is coming. Maybe this person, it could be um, advice from this person. Or going towards going to them for advice about a burden, about a situation you want changed with the Two of Pentacles again. It also, like I said, you could be taking on this energy of knowing what you need to do to um, deal with this situation. 
what's coming up is that yes you will have to work hard towards um, change in your life but change will come for Capricorn and you got people willing to work here I wanted to make it very clear but they may not think that you're willing to work someone thinks something is over 100% over but in reality, someone is having troubles in their life, whether the person you're dealing with or you, and they feel like they can't get their overall stability. And I do see people wanting to help, but I see also that they're afraid the other person just won't accept it. You may get a message coming in. You may just reject it. Um, I see a message coming in for you. And someone's going to offer some kindness to you, and it's up to you whether you accept it. They want to offer you a long-term stability. And maybe you'll take it, you know, some of you will take it and some of you won't. Because someone's under a heavy burden. It very well could be you. And like, yes, these uh, uh, readings can flip where, where the person you're dealing with is going through all this. So I don't see, I don't, I'd be honest with you, I don't see it 100% over on something. But I do see where someone needs to end something where it's causing a lot of harm in their life, like stress. Like, um, um negative thoughts you know um and moving forward with something and starting to live life again and working on something it's all about um taking up the work again and working on something so something can change in your life you need to put the energy out there so this change can occur okay in the end you got the page of wands this could be aries leo sagittarius again they are in the upright it also could be passionate messages coming in i do see the eight of wands is also passionate messages or travel so you will be hearing about something. It's up to you whether you accept it. It's going to be different for everyone. And I'm going to do this three-card love reading. Okay? Like I said, if you don't want to hear the truth, please do not watch it. It's not about, you know, telling you what you want to hear. It's telling you what's going on at this moment. And yeah, you can change situations up. You don't have to accept any love right now. So I need a three-card love reading. I need three three-card love readings. And I'll put them out, and you concentrate on which one you feel drawn to. Sometimes people are drawn to two. There's nothing wrong with that. But this is for Capricorn. I need three cards for the first pile. Three cards for the first pile for Capricorn for November 2019 love reading for Capricorn. Three card love reading. These are very big cards and very hard to find now, so i got to do something with them. Let me turn them around. I do that a lot. I'm so used to turn them upside up. Not a bad pile, but don't choose it just because of that. you got to be drawn to it. I need another three-card reading for Capricorn for November 2019. Don't turn them over. I got this, I, I'm so used to turning them over, but you need to pick. I know it's not the prettiest setup, but it is an honest setup, you know? People, you know, trust more when you shuffle in front of them. One more three-card love reading for pile number three. If this is meant for you, choose it. If it's not meant for you, if you don't like the what it says, change it, you know. Don't freak out. Three cards, please, for Capricorn for pile number three. Now, it may have something to do with this. Or maybe a totally different reading. Remember, we're, we're dealing with a lot of Capricorns. This is a main energy that all Capricorns are feeling. Where they need to accept messages, I think, if they can. Because some of them may not be feeling very well. Uh, section number one. Let me make sure I get all these in there. Let your friends help you. Let people offer, you know, if they, if they contact you, allow them to come into your life and help you to help heal family issues. And the person that is coming towards you that's willing to help you, this could be the one that is actually going to be in your life. This could be the one. So someone may be um, in this in this section, someone that you know that, and I see, I'm seeing this for a few people or a few signs, that someone's going to offer them something that you would think that is not going to be the person you want in your life ends up being the right one. Um, so you look around you, you really look at, you know, your friends, um, co-workers, um, friends of friends, you know, someone that's going to be communicating with you, possibly. If, if I were to take it from this reading, someone may communicate with you. And I do think someone's going to try to reach out to help, you know, to help you out 
whatever's going on in your life, and they could be the one that's in your life for a very, very long time. That's number two. Number three, don't yell at me if this is not what you want. I mean it. Oh. You may have separated with this person. This shows a separated. I'm thinking it's already there because it's in the front part. Um, even though I don't put these all in order, I kind of mix them around to get a, uh, a correct story. But separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm thinking it's a past issue because it shows a separation. And then the second card is give your relationship a chance, work on partnerships, and maybe it's friends, family, or whatever. But then new love comes. A new person stirs your romantic feelings. So I think this could have been somebody you had thoughts about being with before. Maybe you went out on one or two dates. And then you reevaluate them. That's that Mercury and retrograde stuff. I know it is. So you may actually hear from somebody or realize that the person you had met before and maybe even dated could be a, someone uh, ex-love. But I'm thinking... For a lot of you, someone's going to come up to you that you had known before, because it is a, a retrograde thing, and they're going to want to start a new love situation with you. So it's a lot like number one. So if any of you picked one and two, yeah, you definitely got someone coming in. Someone that says could be the one, you know, And if it's number one. Number two, it's a new love situation happening, whether it's for the ex-spouse or I'm going to say someone... I have a feeling it's someone that you kind of dated or thought about dating and you just kind of went, it just didn't happen for some reason. That's for some of you. And now you are going to uh, reevaluate that in November, if not beforehand or a little after. And here it is, finances and career. Uh, financial issues are a factor right now in your love life. So you're, you're looking for stability in your life more than you are love. It has to come first before you allow love to come in. But it is safe for you to love. You can love a person. They're not going to wreck you if you're looking for something. Because um, it says in the end to express your love. Go ahead and talk to these people. But I think this is for people that are so caught up in their career, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that they're leaving out the love life, you know, and because they're thinking it's going to get in the way. This is saying it's not going to get in the way, okay? It's, th it's safe to, to step out there in the unknown, the wild unknown, you know? So this is your reading, the November reading. I'm going to upload it soon. It is taking a long, long time sometimes for YouTube to upload it. That is most of the battle here. And I see it as a good thing, to be honest with you. I just see someone a little down and out, you know. Someone has trouble moving on from a situation, like I said. But love is there. It's there for a lot of signs. And yes, you may be re revisited by a past person. It doesn't have to be an ex, a spouse, though. I'm not kidding. It could be just someone you had in a friend zone or someone you met, acquaintance, and you thought about getting together and just, you know, now it may happen. Okay? I'm going to let this go, and I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye.